Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Go ahead and press tag and share hallelujah to his name. Uh, I'm going to wait for a couple of you to come on, and I'm going to just keep it rolling. Praise God. Let me turn these phones off. You know how they do, especially something like this. Praise God, praise God. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, <laughs> I got up early this morning, and it's so funny because when I get up early like that, I know that um, that God has some things for me to do. Excuse me, you guys. Hold on. All of a sudden, I want to sneeze. Now, hold on. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. So anyway, praise God. And I don't have a core or anything, but I can understand why the enemy is upset because I got something. To sh I wasn't ready. <laughs> um, prophetic class, if you're on here, this is what I'm talking about, walking in the prophetic, because you never know when God is going to use you. So let me slow myself down, um, and I'm going to be very transparent. I'm trying not to be emotional because I wasn't ready for what just happened. But I think that's it about being um transparent <laughs> and i'm serious it's like i gotta slow down because my adrenaline is like really who but i felt i never thought i'd feel not now okay so let me get my composure praise god give me strength hallelujah to the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah okay so yeah serious um so i went to walmart because i'm changing my whole diet and so i was getting some stuff and then there's a, a Kroger that is closing down the street. And I heard the Holy Spirit say, go there, you know. And I was like, I, I've, been, I've been moving all morning. I was like, but you know, you don't tell the Holy Spirit no, because remember, this gift is not about you. This gift is by, for the whole world. I'm beginning to think and know. I, I knew it was for the people, but this is for the whole world. And I know my calling is great. And again, I'm not trying to. I'm trying to talk to the prophetic people and even the people that are on here that are lay people of us have a calling inside of us. So I park and I go and I see store closing and I, it always bothered me because um, one of my friends told me they're closing the store on Wrightsboro Road in Augusta, Georgia. I'm saying it for, on, for a reason. Wrightsboro Road, Augusta, Georgia, those that live in Augusta, Georgia. And I pray if you don't believe me, just write it down what I'm getting ready to say. So I go in the store. I ain't gonna lie. I start getting feeling this gloom. I say, I said, God, I, I felt sadness. And I mean, it was overwhelming. I'm trying to control the tears and I'm not a weak person, but I understand what God's mean, the burden of the Lord when he talks about prophets. So as I begin walking around, I said, well, they don't hardly got nothing, you know? I said, why am I here? And he said, just listen, listen to the spirit. So I begin walking. I'm trying not to cry. You guys, y'all just don't know. Ooh, hallelujah. And so I begin walking and I saw a few things, you know, like some um, vegan hamburgers and, you know, vegan pizzas and stuff. So I said, oh, okay. And then God said, stop shopping. I need you to walk around. So he made me walk around the whole store. I didn't even realize it. I walked around the whole store. I'm sorry. Woo! This is this is a profit thing. They got nothing to do with being weak. Y'all just don't know what we see and what we hear. I heard FEMA camp. I said, what? I said, God, am I walking in a, in a, a future FEMA camp? He said, yes. Y'all ain't ready for me, huh? You guys, they are still closing those stores to prepare for FEMA camps. It's like God let me see the future while I was up in there. And it hurt. And by the time I got to the register, this young lady was a Christian. I would not say her name. And God said, tell her. I say, why are y'all closing your store? And this store makes number money because I go there. She said, I know. I said, well, that is not all. You know, I know you're a Christian. And I know you can handle because God will always let you witness to somebody. I said, you know, they're closing this store to make it a FEMA camp. She said, oh, my God, I got chills. It hurt me so bad because it's like I could hear the screams. I could hear people. And I ain't gonna lie to you. I got in the car and I just really wanted to just bawl and cry. But God wouldn't let me. He said, you cannot break down. This is this is your portion to tell the people. Now I understand why people think I'm weird and crazy because I see things that other people are not talking about. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And I know it sounds scary. I know it sounds scary. Because to be honest with you, I was going to do everything together. But I'm going to do separate videos. I'm getting back on here because I have a message for the pastors. Y'all ain't ready for me. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. So I end up telling that young lady, I said, I hope you know God. And then hold on, I should have known something because there was this, these these two ladies by where the ve vegan hamburgers was. And um, I was like, I I'm upset they closed in the store. Cause I'm thinking I'm just walking around and God just want me to have some um, sale money, you know, some sales, right? Oh, he had a whole nother plan. And I said, what's part of the conspiracy, but I'm just talking. I'm not really in the prophetic right there. Right. 
you are always in the prophetic. Hallelujah to his name. That's why y'all ain't ready for me. That's why my life changed, especially when I was 20 something. But when I came 40 something and God showed me who I was as a prophet, apostolic leader, my whole life changed because you always have to be clear to hear and you have to move in the spirit. And I can't tell y'all, I just really wanted to. I can't explain how I felt. I just wanted to cry and just break down and like, God, why? People of God, this stuff is coming. Excuse me. You know, I think my only thing about being a prophet is something, no, one thing I spoke too soon, and that was about the last president staying in office. That's the only thing. Everything else, y'all know it came true. Notice I said I spoke too soon. Y'all ain't ready for me. Was getting ready to come to America. There are times when I just sat on the sofa and I just cried and I cried and I cried, not for me, for y'all. Because most people don't believe. It's like y'all don't believe till it happened. And I'm telling you, if you don't listen to nothing I say, just keep it in your mental notes. Therefore, you know, when stuff start happening, a shift. How you gonna have to shift? That's why I'm telling y'all get in y'all Bible because that's the first thing they're gonna take. They're gonna take a Bible, their Bibles because they think if they can take the word of God, they'll take it out your heart. Learn your Bibles, learn the word. That was the first thing I couldn't understand when God was training me. Say, learn that word inside and outside. You know, come on, somebody, hallelujah. And I'm getting back into learning that word inside and outside because to be honest with you, most pastors and preachers don't even read their Bible. Y'all, y'all be surprised. They don't read their Bible because we've become proficient. The devil is a lie. He said, You're always in training. You know why they were so powerful in apostolic days, the disciples? They stayed before their God. The God of this world have blinded people. Got people thinking, we don't need all that. We don't need to do all that. If y'all didn't see that the enemy have come in and have lowered the standard of the church until we accept everything and anything. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I'm going to say it again. The Kroger on Wrightsboro Road in Augusta, Georgia will be a FEMA camp. Just wait for it. Just wait for it. Write it down. Take a picture. It doesn't even matter. All right. I'm getting right back on here because I have another message to say to the pastors and preachers and teachers and whoever they want to call themselves. <laughs> you don't want me to put it all together. So I got to get back on here. I'm getting off and I'm coming right back on. So God bless you. God keep you. And, uh, and notice it's not just that store. I knew something was wrong. I knew I was going to catch him, too. See, God had been told me that they're store, closing stores. Y'all already know the Walmart is part of it, but certain specific, specifics, uh, whatever. Y'all know, know what word I'm talking about. Certain stores are actually part of the system. So they're going to rebuild. They're going to have a tower. They have, um, I, I see an underground, like a basement or something, too. So they've already been working on that. And so most stores are closing. will become FEMA camps are stations to where they actually put everybody in and they tell you what they're going to do to you. I, the best, they're telling you what, the, what they're going to do. The movie called Colony, The Colony is on Netflix. It's called The Colony. It's a series. When I saw that series, I was like, these people, bold. they're putting it right in y'all face. And most people, oh, it's just entertainment. Okay, entertainment. Okay, so God bless you. God keep you. I'm getting ready to get right back on here. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.